Hello, my yoga friends. Welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jodi, and today I'm excited to share with you a new yoga series that we're starting yoga for the complete beginner. This is a seven part series and today is day one. So today we're gonna to be focusing on more of a grounding practice, low to the ground, reclined, seated, kneeling poses. And then coming up in this series, we're gonna focus on standing poses, um, a morning energizing practice, an evening relaxation practice, a beginner yin, beginner vinyasa, and beginner meditation. So take it at your own pace. Challenge yourself, but also rest if you need to, to create balance and have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. So grab your yoga mat and let's find your happy place. Okay, so today we're gonna to start in a reclined position, but before we do that, just make sure you've got um, any props that you need. If you have yoga blocks, grab some blocks. If you don't have blocks, no problem, grab some pillows. Um, a yoga strap or a small towel will work just fine. Sometimes we'll use it, sometimes we won't, but it's good to have it um, there in case you need it. And if you wanna to listen to music, uh, Spotify playlist, Yoga for Beginners Day One. Okay, so let's come on to our backs. So we're gonna just start in recline position and taking this moment before we start to move our bodies to notice our bodies. So any recline position that feels good to you, you can extend your legs out, you can bend your knees, bring them to the side, any position. If it feels better to lay on your side, you can do that or even on your belly. Just take a moment to get into position. And take a nice deep breath in. And exhale out. And we're just gonna come to an easy and natural breath and that's how we'll breathe through this practice today. And just take it the time to notice how you're feeling in your body without any judgment. This is the time and opportunity for complete acceptance of how you're feeling. Of what you're thinking. Not trying to change anything. Starting to notice your breath. And remembering to take it at your own pace today. Today's practice is a very gentle practice. And as I mentioned, very grounded. We're going to be staying close to the ground and reclined, seated in kneeling poses. And we call yoga a practice because we're always practicing growing, learning, not trying to get to any particular destination or goal, but just being in the moment and accepting what is. So let's go ahead and bend the knees and draw the knees into the chest. And as you hug the knees into the chest, you might want to just remain still here or maybe a side to side movement might feel good. So exploring the movement, maybe circling the knees around. So what you will learn as we move through this series is that 
Yoga is about how you feel, not what you look like. So we're really going to focus and pay close attention to sensations in the body. So for some of us, it might feel good to rock side to side. Some of us, it might feel better just to remain still in our space. And today might be different than tomorrow. So from here, we're going to slowly come up to a seated position. And I want you to take your time as you come up. You can roll onto your side and then just use your hands to push you up to the seated position. We're going to come into a cross-legged position. Okay. And sometimes we tend to be a little bit tight in our hips. Okay. So there are a couple things that you can do if you're feeling that tightness. If sitting in a cross-legged position isn't so comfortable for you. A couple of things. If you have a cushion or a blanket or even a towel, you can fold it up and then sit on the towel and that'll elevate your hips. And it really helps to release and create a little more space here so it's more comfortable. You might need even more height, maybe grabbing a block or stacking a couple towels underneath you. Okay. And I'm just going to sit up nice and tall. Now pull your belly in towards your spine. And inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. So you're going to reach up. And let's just take the gaze up. And as you reach up, stretch through your fingers. And then notice, where are you feeling the sensation? Maybe in the shoulders, in the side body. And as you pull your belly in, strengthening your abdominals, your core center. I'm going to take one more breath in as you reach up a little more. And then exhale. Let's take a twist over to the right. So as you reach the right arm behind you, your left arm in front of you, and then take your gaze over your shoulder. And just pause here and again as we feel that nice stretch through the spine, the strength we're creating in our midsection, the abdominals. Let's inhale, reach up to center. Full stretch up. And exhale, take it over to the left now. Left arm reaches behind. Just take your hand on the outside of your thigh as you twist. And again, we'll inhale. Let's do it one more time each side. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, twist to the right. And maybe a little bit deeper. So one of the things we want to remember as we're twisting, you want to lengthen the spine first and then deepen into the twist. So your inhale can lengthen and then your exhale can take you deeper into your twist. And let's inhale, reach up one more time. And exhale over to the left. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale, bring your hands to your sides, okay? So we're just going to take the chin towards the chest, okay, and start to notice that nice deep sensation you feel in the back of the neck. Keep sitting up nice and tall. A slow and steady breath in and out. Go ahead and take that, the head over to the right, and just pause here. And again, what feels better to hold stillness through the stretch or to kind of move your head around to deepen, figure out what works best for you. And take your right hand and lift it up and over, bring it right to the outside, right above your left ear and just a gentle, gentle pressing. And then you're going to reach your left fingertips out. So we're starting to create a little bit more space through the shoulder and through the neck. One more breath in and then exhale release that right hand down bring the head back up to center and then let's take it over to the left so just slowly start to drop that head over to the left and again moving the head or creating stillness so it's really important that your focus and your attention is drawn to creating depth and sensation slowly Right? Not forcing, not rushing, but really taking your time to get deeper. And let's take that left hand up, bring it right above the right ear, and very gently 
deepen that stretch, reach your right fingertips out, lengthening, creating space. Taking a couple deep breaths. And slowly release. Good, now we're gonna inhale and reach the arms back up again. And then this time, exhale, bring the right hand down, stretch up. We're gonna do a side body stretch. So you're gonna reach your left fingers up and then just lean over to the right a little bit and see if you can anchor this left hip down. So you're anchoring down as you're stretching over, creating more space. And then take the left shoulder here and just roll it back a little bit. So you're opening up your heart towards the sky. And maybe going a little bit deeper. And let's slowly come back up. Lower that left hand down. Other side, right arm lifts up and over. Again, as you start to lift up, anchor that right hip down. Reach up, stretch through your fingers, and then roll the right shoulder back as you open your chest up towards the sky. So as we're deepening in these poses, we're starting to move the energy within the body. It's called prana. That's our internal life force, that energy. As we start to move it through the body, okay, we start to release blockages, which allows that prana to move and flow even better, more freely. Good, one more breath in. And then exhale, release, come all the way down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees, okay? So if you need to, you can always pad under your knees. Sometimes our knees are a little bit more, um, get a little bit more sensation than the rest of our body. So if you need to, go ahead and place a blanket under your knees. So we're gonna come into a tabletop position. And in this, you're gonna bring your wrists right underneath your shoulders, right? We wanna stack it just so we have some good support under the shoulders and the knees come under the hips, okay? And we're going to spread the fingers nice and wide like starfish so that we have a nice strong foundation and base. And then we're gonna inhale and you're gonna lift your heart, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone so that you're feeling this arch, this compression in the back. Keep pulling your belly in, okay? And now push your way through the hands so the arms are straight and take another deep breath in. This is called cow pose. Really good at strengthening the back. Now we're gonna to come to cat pose. We're gonna come right into that opposite movement. So you're gonna press away or start to round the back, bring your navel to your spine, drop your head and just look at your legs or your belly. Feel that nice stretch through the back of the body, creating some space through the spine. And we're gonna inhale and come back up into cow pose. And exhale, round to cat pose. Keep pressing away through the hands. And then inhale again, lifting up. And exhale, rounding. Inhale, lift the heart, the tailbone, take the gaze up. Exhale, round. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, cat pose. Sorry, cow pose. Exhale, press away, round to cat. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift the heart, the tailbone, gaze up. And exhale, round to cat. Good, inhale one more time. And then on the exhale, we're gonna tuck the toes under, okay? and we're gonna lift the knees up. And then you're gonna to start to push away through your hands. This is downward facing dog, see? So you push away, you're just moving your chest towards your thighs here. You can keep your knees bent if you're tight in the back of the body, or start to straighten the legs out to create a little bit more length. Now lift your tailbone up higher, press your heels down deeper. Keep pushing away through your hands, notice the sensation you feel in your upper back, down through the side body, pull the belly in, lift the tailbone higher, press the heels deeper, nice stretch through the calves. 
Take one more breath in. And then exhale, drop the knees back down. Sit back and come to child's pose. So you're just gonna sit back onto your heels. Now in child's pose, you can keep your knees together so that your chest and belly are resting on top of your thighs. Or you can open your knees a little wider and allow the chest and the belly to come between the thighs. And just take a moment. Again, to notice how you're feeling now in your body. So we're starting to create some space. Child's pose, by the way, is a wonderful resting pose. So anytime you find yourself in a yoga class or doing a yoga practice, if you need to take a break, come right here to child's pose. Okay, we're gonna come back up now onto the hands and knees. A little bit more strength. So again, bring the wrists under the shoulders. As you push away, pull the navel in. You want a nice strong um, found, uh, belly right here. Nice strong midsection. So you pull away. Okay, so we're going to keep those hands. Spread the fingers. And then take your right leg up and extend it straight back. Okay, right here. And then as you extend it back, flex your foot and push through your heel. So it's nice and strong. Your thigh is engaged. And then take your left hand and start to reach it up in front of you, okay? And just reach through your fingers and reach through your heel. Take that gaze forward. Keep pulling your belly in. It's okay if you're wobbling. That just means you're creating more strength as you start to improve your balance. Reaching a little bit more, we call this spinal balance. Take one more breath in and then exhale, releasing all the way down. And let's do the other side. Left leg, lift it up. Okay, press through, now flex the foot, the toes turn down, you press to the heel, you squeeze your thighs, press away again through your hands, pull the belly in, slowly reach that right arm up, right out in front of you. Keep your eyes steady to help you with balance. Keep the belly strong. Good, take one more breath in. Exhale, release, and let's just move with the breath a couple times here, okay? So inhale, right leg and left arm reaches. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg, right arm reaches. Exhale, release. And again, right leg, left arm. Exhale, release. Left leg, right arm. Good, exhale, release. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, take the right leg back, left arm forward. Exhale, release. One more time. Left leg, right arm, reach. And exhale, release. Let's come to child's pose again. Sitting back, knees together or apart. Fold forward. Mm, notice that nice release through the spine, through the lower back. Okay, let's come back up. Now this time we're gonna swing the legs around front and we're gonna come into a reverse tabletop position. So bend your knees, okay? So your ankles are just slightly in front of your knees and you're gonna bring your hands behind your hips. Either point your fingers forward or kind of point them a little outward. See what feels good. So we're just gonna sit up tall here and see if you can just roll the shoulders back, right? Opening up through the chest. Feet are about hip width distance, your toes point forward. Okay, we're gonna inhale. And as you press into your hands and press into your feet, lift your hips up. The knees come above the ankles. Take the gaze up, lift the hips. Good, find your breath. Good, keep lifting, keep opening. One more, inhale. And exhale, slowly release down. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna extend the legs out in front and we're gonna take the left foot and just bring it right into that right thigh so your knees out to the side. Okay, it's called Janu Shirshasana. I'm gonna inhale and reach the arms up. 
and then exhale, fold forward, okay? Coming right over that thigh. So if you can grab your foot, you can grab your foot, grab onto your, your, um, th your calf. If you have a towel, right, that towel, you can wrap around your foot and pull yourself in. Bring your forehead down towards your knee. Now start to flex your foot. And then if you're really tight in the back of body, then you're just gonna keep your knee bent. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna start to press the back of the knee down towards the floor. Good. Just focus on your breath and focus on what you're feeling in your body and how can you create deeper sensation, right? How can you feel more? Sometimes that feeling is going to be a challenge, right? When we stretch the body, it can be pretty intense and pretty challenging. So you want to focus on your breath, just noticing as you inhale and as you exhale, can you just soften a little bit, let go of resistance. And let's rise all the way up. And we're gonna switch legs. Left leg comes out, right foot comes in. Sit up nice and tall, reach your arms up. Exhale and fold all the way down. Good. Ooh, this leg's definitely much tighter than my right leg and you will find that we have imbalances in our body. It's perfectly normal. And that's one of the Wonderful things about yoga is it teaches us so much more about our body. We learn so much more, learning these imbalances that we might have, and then it can allow us to try to work towards creating more balance. So again, same thing here. If you're really tight, bend your knees a little bit, okay? Protecting that muscle, you're still gonna get a really great stretch. If you need more, press the back of the knee, back of the knee down, starting to straighten out that leg pulling yourself in a little bit deeper, okay? So the most important thing is you do what feels best in your body. Never forcing, being patient, kind and loving towards yourself, towards your body. slowly rise up and we're going to come right on to our backs again so as you come on back extending your legs out we're going to take the right knee into the chest now so pull the right knee in and just hold it here for a moment as you pull the knee in and just circle through the foot maybe getting a little bit of movement through the ankle circling both ways Take a deep breath in. Now exhale, we're gonna take a spinal twist. You're gonna take that left knee, cross it over, sorry, the right knee, cross it over, and then reach your right arm out. Turn your gaze to the right and pause in the spinal twist. And that nice stretch through the lower spine. And then slowly come onto your back. Draw the right knee in and then the left. Let's extend the right leg out. Pause here as you hold that knee in. Circling through that ankle, both directions. And then switch. Let's breathe in. Exhale, cross the 
Left knee over, reach the left arm out. Use your right hand to gently deepen the twist. One of my favorite poses, this reclined twist. It feels so good in the spine, in the back. Let's come back to center. Left knee comes in, right knee comes in. Just rock side to side, move in your body a little bit, whatever feels good. Again, maybe being still is what feels good for you right now. Let's breathe in, hug the knees into the chest. And then exhale, we're gonna release the feet all the way out to the corners of the mat. So we're moving into what we call Shavasana, it's our final relaxation, this opportunity for us to now notice and feel all that wonderful energy we've moved through our body. So again, taking your time to come into this position, getting as comfortable as you can. Let's take one more deep breath in and then exhale. Relax and be still. Okay, so we're going to start to bring some awareness back. Now, if you'd like to lay here for longer, a longer period of time, please feel free to stay in this position in Shavasana for as long as you need to. Otherwise, let's start to bend the knees and keep your eyes closed here, okay, as we transition. Bend your knees, roll over to your side, and then with your hands, push yourself up to a seated position. From here, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart center. So palms touch, draw the thumbs to the chest, and then take your internal gaze to your hands. So we tune in one more time to all the sensation, to how we're feeling in our body. Noticing how the movement that we created gave us a little more energy, opened up, created more space in the body for us to feel be present and aware. Let's take one more deep breath in together as we reach the arms up above the head. And then exhale, bring them back to the heart. Namaste. Great job, you guys. The hardest part about starting your yoga practice is actually getting on your mat. So you did it, congratulations. This series will be released every couple days. So do this practice um, every day if you can. The next one we're gonna focus on is gonna be a standing sequence. So it'll be completely different. And what will be really nice about it is you could do this one and the standing sequence um, one after the other to create a full practice. Okay, so keep up the good work. Take it at your own pace, keep your hearts open, 
and have complete acceptance of where you are. If you like the video, press the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shima Flow Yoga. I'll see you next time. Namaste.